Welcome back guys. Today we're kicking off our summertime videos with a patio video. So I'm gonna show you guys five different ways that you can spruce up your patio or your backyard. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I upload twice a week a lifestyle, beauty, and fashion videos and I'd love to have you. So my tip number one is to give your backyard a deep cleaning. So what we did is my husband and my father-in-law actually power washed it. So maybe you guys have a neighbor or um, you can find like a really good discount on something like Groupon to have somebody power wash it. We're able to power wash the furniture, the rug, the concrete, literally everything without even having to use any type of uh, detergent, chemical, or anything like that. Right after we power washed it, we left a metal trash can out on the patio and it left a ginormous rust stain. So I'm going to show you guys how I remove it. So basically I soaked it with white vinegar for about 10 minutes. I just let it sit on there and then I took a brush to it and scrubbed it. Then I used water to rinse it away. My tip number two is to freshen up your space by using pops of color. I actually ended up changing out all the pillows that I had from the past five years because as you guys can see, they had a lot of sun damage and I just wasn't crazy about the color palette anymore. You definitely don't have to go out and buy a bunch of new pillows. You could even take your old pillows and recover them yourself. I was going for the white with the pop of blue. So I got mine off of Wayfair and I got these cream pillows specifically because you can wash them. I feel like they're gonna last me a lot longer this way if I can bring them inside and wash them. You can also incorporate colors with things like stools, chairs, rug. I got this rug last year from Rugs USA and it's a beautiful print. Um, if you're going to do something like this and you don't have like a covered roof or anything like that, then I definitely recommend Scotch Guarding it. They actually make Scotch Guard for outdoor rugs, so this is a good way to preserve your rug. I also wanted a little side table for one of our chairs that's kind of off to the side. So instead of just getting um, like a plain metal chair, I decided to get a stool that had lots of colors and the same color scheme as the rest of the room. So I got this one also off of Wayfair. I'm kind of addicted to Wayfair lately. This is perfect for things like plants or like what I'm using it for, which is to hold your drink or your snack or whatever you have out there. You could also add pops of colors with curtains. Uh, I love outdoor curtains. I think it it gives the room like a really cool, like I'm on vacation vibe. I actually DIY these curtains that I showed you guys with really inexpensive items from like Lowe's. I'll leave that video linked down below in case you guys missed it, but it's in last year's patio video. My third tip is to add some lights. So I like these LED candles you can turn on and off whenever you need them. Some of them even come with timers, so they'll, they'll turn on by themselves at night and then they turn back off like six hours later. So I love putting them inside of these beautiful lanterns, which I'm sure you guys have seen on my channel before. I bring these inside during the winter time and use them to add some coziness to the room. And then during the summertime, I love putting them outdoors because they really give you like that warm, cozy feeling. You can also put real citronella candles inside of these. They'll look pretty, but they will also keep the mosquitoes away. A last really inexpensive idea that you could do yourself is get a mason jar and just fill them with these little twinkle lights. These are available pretty much everywhere and they're really inexpensive they have a little on and off switch and they just make your space look magical. It kind of looks like little lightning bugs or like little fairies. It's really, really pretty. So you could do a lot of these throughout your backyard. My fourth tip has to do with the arrangement of your furniture. We put everything in a way where it's kind of a conversational area and this is super easy to do. You just need a focal point. So you could get something sort of like a coffee table, which is what we got, but it wasn't sturdy enough. So we ended up finding this tray at Home Goods, and it's pretty big so it's perfect because it's um, it covers up the entire little stool but it's also light enough to be portable so I can take this inside if I'm preparing drinks and snacks and then bring it out and use that on top of the little stool now this becomes the focal point because everybody is just kind of around it and that's where you put your drinks down and you conversate and yeah, it just makes the space feel a lot more inviting and cozy <laughs> And my last tip is to add some sort of greenery or plants and because we're outside it would definitely make more sense if they're real but if you are not blessed with a green thumb like me <laughs> Um, then you could definitely use fake ones, you know? I got this beautiful topiary tree from Home Goods and it's small, so it's a really good size. I would love to have an herb garden one day, maybe just like a small one in my little patio, um, but I cannot bring myself to keep anything alive. <laughs> I would love to have like cilantro, green onions, basil, and then probably parsley. Because um, you guys know I love to cook, so that would be so perfect. There has to be like a self-sustaining garden. So yeah, those are my five tips to spruce up your backyard. Let me know which tip was your favorite. And also, let me know if you guys have any more tips that you want to share with me or with everybody else in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe because I have a lot more summer videos coming up. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Mwah.
拜。